so good afternoon students uh, today we are going to discuss about disaster management uh, this is one of a very important topic in the subject of environmental studies and disaster management so uh, we'll discuss that exactly what a disaster is so a disaster is a sudden calamitous event bringing great damage loss destruction and devastation to life and property we might have observed or faced some kind of disaster in our life so we all know that whenever there is occurrence of disaster there is somehow there is a loss somehow there is a damage so uh, such kind of activities either natural or man made we call it disaster so the damage caused by disaster is immeasurable and varies with the geographical location climate and the type of the earth surface so these are the factors which play a very important role in the uh, occurrence of disaster as well as the rate of damage which has been occurred by any kind of disaster so a disaster influence the mental social economic socio economic political and cultural state of the affected area generally the disaster has the following effects in the concerned area so we all know that whenever there is a there is going to be damage whenever we face loss we go under mental pressure as well as several uh, negative things of start occurring in our behavior so uh, that is why disaster is con considered as a uh, it is considered that disaster impact of disaster occurs in several ways in anybody's life so uh, generally there are following effects first one is it completely disrupts the normal day to day life then it negatively influences the emergency systems normal needs and processes like food shelter health are affected and deteriorated depending on the intensity and severity of the disaster so as i said in the beginning that disaster can be man made or natural occurring so suppose we take an example of uh, suppose like flood nowadays a major part of bihar is uh, experiencing flood like situation so we all are uh, well known that what all for what all things there is shortage in uh, flood affected area definitely there will be shortage for food shelter health facilities etc so uh, whatever the type of disaster there is shortage of several things human beings as well as animals they face several uh, problems due to occurrence of any kind of disaster so it may also be termed as a serious disruption of the functioning of society causing widespread human material or environmental losses which exceed the ability of the affected society to cope using its own resources so as i have given example of flood in bihar right now which is occurring so people are unable to utilize their own resources own resources means their own land resource their own forest resource even though they are they want to use that all resource for several purposes they are they are unable to use because their entire area is covered by water log or they it is covered by water so now there is type of disaster or uh, generally there are two type of disaster natural and man made disaster so uh, further there are some classifications or some, some examples of natural and man made disaster so we first we'll see a um, few examples of natural disaster so flood cyclone drought and earthquake can be example of natural disaster whereas cold wave thunderstorm heat waves mud slide and storm can be example of natural disaster additional there are some classifications like uh, major natural disaster and minor natural disaster 
so accordingly we have divided different type of disasters depending on their uh, either it is major type or it is minor type of disaster so a second one is man made disaster again there is classification like major and minor type so under major category of man made disaster setting of fires epidemic deforestation uh, pollution due to crop cultivation chemical pollution war this all type of disaster can be considered as major man made disaster whereas minor man made disaster road accidents railway accidents riots food poisoning industrial disaster or industrial crisis and environmental pollution they all are considered as minor man made disaster so uh, we all have seen that there are several type of disasters which human beings are facing or they are facing um, at different times at different place so uh, nowadays when uh, nowadays we come across several news of such kind of uh, disasters occurrence of disasters like nowadays um, major cities say like uh, mumbai city is facing from flood like situation due to heavy rains or flash flood kind of thing is occurring state of bihar major part of uh, bihar state people are facing flood like situation similarly in the summer season there are several uh, districts of entire country they face drought like situation similarly uh, many times there is occurrence of train accident and road accidents riots industrial disaster environmental pollution so this all are occurring and we all are facing this all uh, type of disasters so we also know that the occurrence of such kind of disasters are the frequency is in rapidly increasing that is why there is a new term has been generated a few years earlier that is called disaster management nowadays uh, each state has its own uh, organization which works upon management of disaster that is uh, sdrf state disaster uh, relief force then uh, centrally governed body is ndrf that is national disaster management authority so uh, very commonly we see uh, such kind of terms which is uh, available right now like that is called disaster management so what is a disaster management the management techniques which we are adopting in order to manage the loss occurred due to disaster we call it disaster management so disaster management consists of pre occurrence as well as post occurrence of the disaster so uh, generally there are no standardized rules defining the different phases of the disaster management cycle there are different agencies they use different cycles depending upon their objectives however while approaches vary it is agreed that disaster management activity should be carried out in a cycle we'll see in detail about all these cycles so the first one is disaster prevention mitigation and then preparedness prevention mitigation and preparedness so prevention is uh, considered or it occurs before also as well as after occurrence of any kind of disaster mitigation is the term which means what all mitigating techniques or what all techniques we can utilize or we can use to minimize the effect of disaster and the last one is preparedness so generally we start preparing once there is occurrence of any type of disaster so we do prepare preparedness or we prepare ourselves in order to be ready for the future coming disaster activity so this is a cyclic process the first important step towards reducing disaster impact are to correctly analyze the potential risk and identify measures that can prevent mitigate or prepare for emergency next is information and communication technology 
they can play a very important role in highlighting risk areas vulnerabilities and potentially affected populations by producing geographical reference analysis for example a geographic information system so uh, many times uh, we see there is uh, in the news there are few maps are shown that this much area of bihar is under flood right now or this much area is under such kind of any kind of disaster or any information can be seen nowadays google map is very commonly used by almost all the people who are having a smartphone so in google map we can see uh, we can zoom in zoom out and we can uh, see a major part of any area even we can see our uh, campus of suresh yan bihar university uh, we can see on the map uh, on the google map we can see the farm of suresh yan bihar university so similarly this information technology or information and communication technology or a uh, gis systems can be used for um highlighting the risk areas vulnerabilities and uh, potentially affecting population by any kind of disaster the importance of timely disaster warning and uh, mitigation in mitigating negative impacts can never be underestimated for example although damage to pro property cannot be avoided by any occurrence of any kind of disaster but developed countries have been able to reduce loss of life due to disaster much more effectively than their counterparts in the developing world so as i have given example that uh, by using uh, google maps we can see location of any place so if we go back few years earlier when uh using of google map was not you know common practice we used to uh, get advice from any peop any person whenever we have to go to a new place nowadays we don't have to ask to any person we can directly click on the screen of our phone and we can directly reach at that point even though that that point is several 100 kilometers away then also without asking anyone we can reach there so i want just i want to uh, show the importance of information and communication technologies or modern technologies similarly in case of disaster management this all technologies can be used in order to mitigate to uh, minimize the effect which is going to occur so next is a key reason for this is the implement implementation of effective disaster warning systems and evacuation process procedures used by the developed countries and the absence of such measures in the developing world so we see that uh, there are major countries developed countries which are highly advanced in the, in the field of information and communication technology and they use this all modern techniques for uh, minimizing the effect of such kind of disasters at the same time we see that this all uh, modern technique there is absence of this all modern techniques in developing world like india even though we uh, like as of present condition we can see that uh, there are several developed countries which are using their internet facilities of uh, say like uh, 5g and 6g but still now in rural part of india indian country a uh, rural part of indian state we see that still there is a network facility which is only of 2g or 3g so we can simply analyze that what is the exact condition or exact status right now we are having in the field of um, modern techniques so say like information and communication technology so our uh, next is disaster warning so disaster reduction ident identifies several key parties that play major role in the disaster management process especially in disaster warning so we'll discuss about the major role player parties in disaster warning so first one is community so community is the those part which is most vulnerable are vital to people centered early warning system their input into system design and their ability to respond ultimately determine the extent of risk associated with natural hazards 
then uh, community should be aware of hazards and potential negative impacts to which they are exposed and be able to take specific actions to minimize the threat of loss or damage moreover uh, the geographic location of a community is an essential determinant in the selection of disaster on which the system should focus their community education that is why uh, there is introduction of the course that is environmental studies and disaster management this is a compulsory course for all the graduates they have to undergo this course they have to study and pass the exam so the major aim of the government is to make people aware about a uh, disaster management technique so for example coastal communities need to be educated and prepared for the possibility of tsunami while a uh, mountain community can be educated to respond to an early warning system for disasters like landslide so landslides are very common occurring a uh, disaster in uh, mountain regions and much of the affected uh, sector is the community which is residing in those area so next one is first one was community second one is local government so local government should have considerable knowledge of the hazards to which their communities are exposed then uh, they must be actively involved in the design and maintenance of early warning systems and understand information received to be able to advise inspect or engage the local population in a manner that increases their safety and reduces the potential loss of resources on which the community depends so local government plays a very important role in uh, knowledge of hazards their uh, mitigation management early warning systems etc then comes the national government they are responsible for policies and frameworks that facilitate early warning in addition to the technical systems necessary for the preparation and issuance of timely and effective hazard warning for their respective country so uh, next is they should ensure that warnings and related response are directed towards the most vulnerable population through the design of holistic disaster response and early warning frameworks that address the specific needs of the related micro and macro level factors so many times you 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 might have come across news that there is an early warning uh say like there is warning in the coastal area like in bay of bengal um in the coastal area of bengal the fishermen are not allowed to enter in the in the water for next two days because there is warning of tsunami or some other kind of cyclone uh, similarly there is early warning regarding heavy rain for nowadays in rajasthan many part is under um, for in the in the last week there was a news in the newspaper and everywhere that there is a warning of heavy rain in few part of rajasthan so this all this all are example of early warning system and this is uh, this is done uh, through an integrated approach of local people local community uh, local government state government as well as national government so uh, by such kind of awareness such kind of early warning systems people know that okay we don't have to enter in this area or we have to take uh, such kind of uh, preservation techniques we have to stay at home we don't need to, we don't need to go outside so uh, this all things by uh, by uh, generating such kind of early warning systems we can manage or we can minimize the loss which is going to be occurred by occurrence of any kind of disaster so next is uh, few institutions are there which are responsible to work in direction of uh, such kind of disasters so uh, there are some regional institution and organizations uh, they provide a specialized knowledge and advice in support of national efforts to develop or sustain the operational capabilities of countries 
that share a common geographical environment then regional organizations are crucial to linking international capabilities to the particular needs of individual countries and in facilitating effective early warning practices among adjacent countries so if we remember the case uh, during a uh, covid patients were on peak if you remember still remember uh, that scenario daily there was some new news or new guidelines which were which was released from uh, who so every day there was a spokesperson of who he, he or she they used to come on tv they used to their news used to come on newspapers every day so uh, similar guidelines which were which was uh, used to be issued from who similar guidelines was uh, copied uh, by the government officials of each countries and they used to broadcast similar news or similar guidelines to among their country among all the communities so you can see that how there is a, there is interlinkages between a uh, different um, regional as well as international as well as national bodies in such kind of uh, situation so next one is international bodies so uh, i have just now i have given example of who that is an international body similarly there are uh, few international bodies which are working um, in the field of disaster management like ipcc and all that is intergovernmental panel on climate change these are international bodies which are working on uh, disaster management as well as uh, analyzing the impact of climate change and all so uh, they should provide support for national early yearly national early warning activities and foster the exchange of data and knowledge between individual countries so there is a cooperation required between national bodies as well as international bodies as well as regional bodies there should be exchange of knowledge and data so that a successful uh, management of disaster can be done then support may include the provisions of advisory information or uh, technical assistance and policy and organizational support necessary to ensure the development and operational capabilities of national authorities or agencies responsible for early warning practices also there is the uh, non government organizations we call it ngos which are responsible or they play a very important role in of uh, raising awareness among individuals as well as they are also involved in early warning system management and few more activities especially they are um they several ngos they work at the level of community level so individually they are going uh to each household to each members they are uh, contacting and then they are making aware to the people um like it is a similar kind of work which is uh, done by anganwadi workers nowadays for regarding um uh, vaccination process and uh, several other processes so ngo people you can find they are everywhere and there are different type of ngos which are working in different sectors similarly there are few ngos which are which are working in the field of disaster management so they play an important advocacy role to help ensure that early warning stays on the agenda of government policy makers so this is a very important uh, that the early warning system should be an important agenda or main agenda on uh, for the people who are policy makers or higher government officials so that if the things are in their mind then only there is going to be a uh, discussion on policy making and mitigation techniques etc so the next is the private sector so it has a diverse role to play in early warning including developing early warning capabilities in their own organizations the private sector is also essential as they are usually better equipped to implement information and communication technologies 
then the media is also a major role playing sector in improving the disaster consciousness of the general population and in disseminating early warnings the media can be the critical link between the agencies providing the warning and the general public we all know the importance of media whenever there is the hot news in media immediately within few hours it is uh, it spreads like forest fire within few hours everybody is comes to know that okay such kind of thing is like happening in which place so uh, we all know the importance of media so if we uh, if we see media towards the uh, disaster management aspect we find that media is a very important role player in uh, dissemination of news and early warning systems guidelines etc etc so uh, what are the channels which are used for disaster warning first one is radio and television these are the most important mediums or channels to convey the news regarding disaster warning next is telephone nowadays mobiles are also a medium for uh, flooding the news or sending any kind of news then short message services that is sms we all are well known to it satellite radio is also an important tool on a larger scale that can be used for dissemination of any news or guidelines etc so our next is internet and email so we are, we are, we all are well known to internet and email facilities for sending any kind of news we can uh, instantly we can message and inform a person regarding such kind of activities then gis and remote sensing in disaster management as i said that uh, information and communication techniques or technology is a very important factor so uh, similarly i have given an example of uh, google map so google map can be one of the example of remote sensing and gis how it works so by using google map we can reach to any location we can see the uh, situation of any location there are few uh, similar kind of apps are there through remote sensing we can see the live location of any any place that that can be done using satellite so the satellites can give a uh, live image of any part so uh, it can be utilized for uh, several activities or to get information of any place without being in without being in touch with or without going to that place so there are few um, few examples of disasters so one first one is flood so uh, most of you are from the state of bihar so right now i hope that as it is informed by you many of you are facing such kind of situation so flood is an ex- expansion of water submerging land a flood is caused by excess water in any location usually due to rain from a storm or thunderstorm or the rapid melting of snow there are few more um, few more activities can be there due to which flood like situation may occur so what are the causes of flood when snow or, or on a mountain melts or when a river or a lake or some short overflows flooding from water displays such as in a landslide the failure of any dam an earthquake induced tsunami etc a hurricane storm surge or melt water from volcanic activities flooding of coastal areas by high tides or by tsunami waves caused by undersea earthquakes so this can be uh, the major uh, causes of floods whereas a uh, few more causes can also be there what are the elements which are at the risk so building basement of buildings utilities such as sewerage water supply electricity facilities 
then agricultural equipments and crops vehicles fishing boats etc are the elements or the components which are at the risk due to flood there are few effects of flood like uh, physical damage casualties water supplies crops and food supplies so we all know that whenever there is flood there is damage to the structures there are casualties of people livestock then uh, contamination of water either it is surface water or ground water crops and food supplies there is shortage definitely wherever there is any kind of disaster there is first thing what if it will happen occur is that will be shortage of food so what are the management for flood mapping is the first step to analyze the flood prone area then land use control construction of engineered structures like uh, uh, retaining wall uh, then few more structures are there which can be uh, used as flood control structures so the basic aim of all these structures are either to divert the uh, to divert the flow of water or for uh, store the water and preserve it preserve the water and utilize it for other purposes so these all steps can be steps for flood management next one is drought so drought is a lack of water for an unusually period involving less than the usual over 3 months a lack or shortage of water for an unusual long period of time involving 50% less than the usual rainfall over 3 months so we all might have observed the situation of drought so in simple term drought is a condition of acute scarcity of water food fodder and employment due to scanty rainfall in an area it is one of the most widespread widespread disaster that india faces uh, nearly 70% of cultivable land in india is under stress of water shortage uh, generally people uh, don't consider drought as an uh, disaster because it does not occur immediately it is a slow occurring activities that's why uh, drought is generally not considered as a disaster but when we see but when we analyze on a long term scale we find that disaster has a many negative impact on the environment as well as several environmental components so that is why it is considered as a disaster so uh, there are few type of drought first one is meteorological drought second is hydrological drought and third one is agricultural drought so agricultural drought is a very important one for the agriculture professionals to know whenever there is shortage of water for irrigational activities we call it agricultural drought we all know that ki without uh, without irrigational water it is impossible to cultivate any crop to uh, rear any animal or livestock as well as several ag- agricultural activities is impossible without water water is the major uh, factor which is a uh, role playing factor regarding crop cultivation nowadays modern facilities are there soil less cultivation we can do but still water less cultivation is not possible so we are we can understand understand that how important of water is so a um, few more uh, disaster example of disasters are there like cyclone earthquake a uh, few type of earthquake is there and their mitigation measures are there so uh, we all many times we come across several news about land landslides and nowadays especially in rainy season in uh, several northeastern states himalayan region as well as uh, region of uttarakhand uttarakhand uh, several news are there of uh, landslides i think last week there was some news about landslide in uttarakhand or uh, due to heavy rain so we all know that there is a uh, uh, damage to property as well as damage to uh, livestock and human beings due to such kind of disasters 
whatever the type of disaster is it is going to have a negative impact on living beings including humans and animals as well as plants that is why very commonly we use the term disaster management many organizations private sectors government sectors and international bodies they are uh, working upon uh, such kind of activities there are several institutions universities which are specially designed which are departments which are specially designed to work in this sector and to provide uh, early warning systems as well as mitigation techniques in order to minimize the loss which is going to occur due to disaster so that's it for today's lecture now if you have any questions you can discuss now we will see a animated video to understand the preparing for disaster and what are the measures and precautions we take while preparation of any disaster so let's watch this animated video fossil fuels are also hurting the environment it means that there are more disaster There are also there more are also outbreaks more of outbreaks diseases, diseases than ever before. before. Unprepared Under communities will be, will be the most affected by global warming. Tom, Tom, let's go play! Let's go play. Mm. Tom is Tom a naughty boy, boy who is always who is curious, curious and doubtful. And doubtful. Hell is a dog who can survive a natural disaster. A is a good humor, humor fun boy. Preparing for, for disaster with Mr. Radar. Mr. Radar. Mom is a whiner. She takes, takes care of everything in the house. In the house. Dom, Dom. Going to rain going soon. soon. I'm at the house. Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. Honey, honey, come quick to come help me bring this pot inside. inside. Oh, oh, I, was I was sleeping, sleeping. Honey. honey. Dad, Dad is the guy who loves his family, his family and his dog. And his dog. Don't, complain Don't complain now. now. Help, Help me bring this pose inside. inside. Hey, hey. The wind is blowing really strong. It's an angel turns up the speed of the fan. That's why the wind is so strong. Don't talk like that. What is hell barking at? My name My is name Radar. Is Radar. Mr. Radar, Mr. Radar is an expert, is expert on natural, on natural disasters. disasters. My duty, My duty is, to is to explore planets. planets. Now the world now is facing dangers from, from global warming. warming. So I come so to, I come us, to us, us to warn people about, about natural disasters. Disaster. Oh. oh. How should we How should prepare, prepare ourselves, ourselves when there's a when there's really, a really strong, strong wind? wind? This kind this of wind kind is called a windstorm. Speed of a windstorm can destroy trees and buildings. When there is a windstorm and heavy rain, don't use any electrical equipment. It is better to collect all electrical items, follow the news, prepare food and water, medicines, and other necessities, such as flashlights and batteries. For fishermen, For fishermen or people, or who, people live who live near the sea, sea. never take never a boat take out a boat into a storm. Into a storm. Where there is, Where a, storm, there is a storm, stay inside, stay a, house inside a house or a safe or shelter. A, safe shelter. a disaster is coming, coming soon. Honey, Honey did you feel it out today? today? Oh, oh, there, there you, you are. are. You must be you very, must be hungry. very hungry. hungry. That's why you're sitting in a basin. Huh? Huh? Oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. Flood. Flood. Flooding, Flooding is another is kind another of disaster. Kind of disaster. 
floods, floods are not caused are not only caused by rainwater, rain but also, but also by, human, by human, such as deforestation, littering, littering in, rivers, in rivers, canals, canals, canals and, drains. and drains. Mr. Radar, Mr. Radar what do we what need, do to, do? need to do? First, First everyone, should, everyone move should move to higher to ground. Higher ground. Prepare rice, Prepare rice dry, food, dry food, drinking, drinking water, water, first aid first kit, aid clothes, clothes blankets, blankets, flashlight and candles, candles to last for, last one, for one, week. one week. Take your radio, Take your radio for, updated for updated news. news. Collect, your, Collect important your important documents, documents and keep them in keep waterproof, them waterproof plastic, plastic bags. bags. Prepare sandbags sand in order to block water, water from water coming into the house. house. Don't play Don't in or push flood water. There might be a risk of electric shock, poisonous animals, and toxic substances. Watch your children closely. Don't let them in a boat of plain, of plain flood, flood water. water. Check the Check water, the water level, level before, before leaving your house. Your house. Do we need do we to need clean, clean water and water eat carefully so, so we don't get sick? Yes. 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 Also, if also, the family, if the family needs, needs to the house or the area, the area and notify someone, someone outside, outside the disaster, disaster zone, zone that everyone, that everyone can, can, call can call and tell them they're okay. Why are you doing? Why are you wrapping help in state of important documents? Because help is, is important to me. To me. <laughs> hey, 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 calm it down. Soon and his family and loved neighbors, neighbors, neighbors can always help, always help when disaster strikes. Disaster strikes. The, restaurant the restaurant has built temporary, temporary tents, tents for us in front, us in front of the school. Calm it down. Most people, most people already, already stay there. there. You should educate you should yourself educate about yourself disasters that distract, distract your community. Your community. Learn, about your Learn about your local warning, warning system and the evacuation routes. Never, Never ignore warning ignore signals. Warning signals. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Please get, Please in, the get car. in the car. An officer, An officer at the and community helped the role of Thai Red, Red Cross. Red Cross. Why does the Why cap you're you wearing, you wearing sometimes light up? up? The cap lights the cap up lights before up a disaster, disaster strikes. strikes. So, so, like last like time, last before, the time flood? before the flood? Yes, yes exactly. exactly. When the cap, when the lights, cap up, lights up, it means there will be a disaster, be a disaster close disaster by. Disaster but I don't know which type of disaster it will be. We are lucky we are the car stopped stop in time. time. That was a, that close, was a one. close one. Mr. Radar, Mr. Radar why do landslides occur? occur? There are many there are reasons, many reasons for, landslides. for landslides. Two main Two causes, causes are human activities, activities. combined with combined heavy rainfall. 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 When humans, when humans cut down cut the forest, down forest they, destabilize they destabilize the land, land leaving large, large open slopes on the side of the mountain. Of the mountain. After a lot After of rain, lot of rain the, soil the soil on the slope becomes fully saturated, saturated and it flows and it down, flows down, down the mountain quickly. quickly. Before landslides land occur, land there are warning signs. If you notice changes in water flow, such as mud colors, sediments in water, or if you hear a rumbling noise, immediately head to higher ground. And if you and fall if you into fall the into water, water while you are evacuated from the landslides, do not try, do not to, swim. try to swim. Find a big Find a tree big and tree hold on tight until someone, someone comes to help you. Help you. Um, um, we need to go need there to go by there foot and stay. stay. <sighs> we are here. We are here. Please proceed, Please proceed to the registration to the point. point. Please remain in this area. This area. The Red the Cross and local, local authorities will announce, will announce that it's safe, it's safe, safe to return home. home. If the Red Cross, Cross hadn't helped help us during the flood, during the flood we, would we would have known, known where to stay. stay. Yes. Yes. yes, the Red Cross, the Red Cross is, a is a humanitarian organization, organization providing, providing assistance, assistance before, before during, during and after, and after disasters, the disasters, there are Red Cross, Cross offices throughout Thailand. Thailand. <laughs> what is the how the radar? radar? Huh? 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 Are the satellites going, going to strike, strike again? 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 Oh! How does an earthquake happen? Earthquake.
earthquakes are caused, are caused by movement, by movement pressures and pressures of tectonic, tectonic plates in the Earth's crust. Earth's crust. If the Richter magnitude, magnitude of an earthquake, of an earthquake is, between is between 1 to 2.9, 2 2 this is a very this is a minor very earthquake. Minor if, the earthquake. Minor if the number is between, between 4, 4 to 4.9, 4 4 9, it is described as a light earthquake. During the During light the earthquake, earthquake, people who are people inside, who are inside and outside, outside buildings will feel a tremor. tremor. Hanging objects will swing back, back and forth. If it is more than more seven than on the Richter scale, scale, it will be a will major, be major earthquake. earthquake. Cracks will Cracks appear on, on the ground. Heavy objects will be thrown into the air. There will be massive, massive damage. damage. It sounds it terrible. terrible! What should we what do should if an earthquake happens? happens? Always remain Always calm. Remain calm. If you are in the house, Take a, Take a shelter under heavy under furniture, heavy furniture such, as such as a table or door frame. Door frame. Don't, Don't use, matches use matches or anything, or anything flammable. flammable. If you are driving, you are a, driving car, a car, pull over pull to somewhere, over somewhere safe. safe. And stay inside, stay the, inside car the car until the earthquake, until the earthquake stops. stops. If you are in a, high, in building, a high building, get out of the get building as soon as possible. And stay away stay from away heavy from objects that might fall on you. If you are near you the are sea, sea, immediately head to higher ground, ground to avoid huge waves. waves. After, the After the earthquake stops, stops you should check you should water, water, gas, gas and electric, electric lines, lines for damage for before damage using before anything. anything. Turn on the radio, radio for emergency bulletins and instructions, instructions from local authorities, local authorities or the Red Cross. The Red Cross. Family, Family members, members should, should learn safety, safety measures, measures before, before and during and earthquakes, earthquakes and have a and responsibility, have responsibility based, on based on age, physical, physical and, mental and mental condition. condition. Have a plan have ready a plan and ready practice and what to do if an earthquake strikes. Tom, Tom, let's go play. Let's go play. Mm. Follow, me. Follow me. Yes, yes, I just had, I a, bad just had a bad dream. When disaster, when disaster strikes, strikes. Stay, calm. stay calm, don't panic. Don't panic. Stay, tuned stay tuned to the news. To the news. Prepare basic Prepare necessities basic and protect important, protect important documents. documents. Nowadays, Nowadays disasters, disasters occur more, occur frequently. more frequently. Humans consume effective natural, natural resources, natural resources and, because and because of global warming. Global warming. Consequently, Consequently, it leads to climate, leads to climate changes. changes. We should conserve, we should conserve and consume these resources efficiently. efficiently. The more careful the more we are with our environment, our environment, the safer, the safer we, will we will be. So we have just watched an animated video of disaster preparedness and management. What all major steps or things we consider while occurrence of any disaster. So I hope that this animated video will be very useful for understanding the disaster management.